It's time, time, time. She's spilling the tea. This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, Alicia Keys is on the cover of InStyle magazine, and one thing that she talked about in her interview was how when she first, well, before she started dating Swiss, she thought he was just arrogant. She said she had read an interview where he talked about writing many of his best songs in 10 minutes, and she herself would spend days obsessing over every chord progression, so she told her friend, of course he does his songs in 10 minutes. Have you heard his songs? But then the two of them eventually wow. met, and she said... We got in the studio and started working together. She said, we literally made a song in 10 minutes. And I was like, ah-ish. She said his style wasn't about haste or carelessness, but inspiration and tapping into a place that's all feeling and emotion and spirit. So that's when they started dating. Mm -hmm. It clearly worked. (laughs) Shout out to the 10-minute man, Swiss Beats. I don't don't, don't think you're like like that one, the 10-minute man. (laughs) She said, I also began to understand that my humility was sometimes a mask for self-worth issues. I would say, oh, I don't need much. I only need a little bit and I'm fine. She said, I was kind of cutting off my blessings, but I started to recognize I have this wrong. So she said they have a tradition where they try to outspoil each other with extravagant surprises on their birthdays. And she said, I can remain totally humble, but I don't have to cut off the wonderful things that I deserve. That's dope. Mm. Yeah. That's a great way of thinking of it. And you should spoil a person that you wish you love them. Why not? All right. Now, another relationship news. Stevie J says that he and Faith are still together, even though she had gotten arrested for domestic violence. And he set the record straight about things. He said, that's my wife and I love her. I'm not going anywhere. God's got us. And there's video of them. And she's like, all mine. So it looks like the two of them, whatever happened back then, we don't know what went down. But Mm -hmm. they are still together for people who thought maybe they weren't. Now, Sephora has says they will dedicate 15% of shelf space for Black-owned brands, and they're taking that pledge. They're the first major retailer in the U.S. to take the 15% pledge. That's a movement that started earlier this month with demonstrations after the death of George Floyd and a national conversation about race inequality. So that pledge calls on Sephora, Target, Whole Foods, and Shopbop to make that commitment. Now, the person who actually created that is Aurora James, and she's the creative director of a Brooklyn-based accessory company called Brother Veli. She said it's about a long-term commitment to the black community. Starbucks, in the meantime, is closing up to 400 stores to try to shift to a more takeout strategy. So they're going to do that over the course of the next 18 months in the U.S. and in Canada. And at the same time, they'll be adding carry out and pick up locations only. Makes sense. And the CEO of Twitter, Jack Dorsey, says that they're going to make Juneteenth an official company holiday for their U.S. workers. So Can we that's that? going to happen. Well, we don't work at Twitter, but we well, should. Can we get that? Well, we could, we, could, we, we, we could take off. We could take off. We could definitely yeah. take off. Okay. I think I it's on a, off. oh yeah, no, June 9th. Friday. Yeah. It's on a Friday. Yeah, it's yeah, on a Friday. Mm-hmm. I think that's a Friday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that'll be... Um, Something that they do for all of his companies. He has Square, you know, Twitter Mm -hmm. and so forth. So he said, we will do the work to make those dates company holidays everywhere where we are present. All right. And last. uh, Oh, and Iggy Azalea. Iggy Azalea has confirmed that she has a son. Everybody was talking about when she was pregnant and, you know, she's with Playboy Cardi. So now she has finally confirmed the news. She wants people to know it wasn't a secret. She said, I kept waiting for the right time to say something, but it feels like the more time passes, the more I realize I'm always going to feel anxious to share news that giant with the world. I want to keep his life private, but I wanted to make it clear he's not a secret and I love him beyond words. So that's your child. You have the right to announce whatever you want whenever you want. Exactly. Drop on the clues bombs for young Iggy Azalea. Yeah, congratulations to them. All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report.